Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, our channel. Our channel, mine and Jessie's. Um, today we are going to be doing <clears throat> a tutorial of a quick and easy how to make Oreo truffles. And I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we're gonna need. It's quick and easy, you don't really need much stuff. Okay, so first ingredients you're gonna need, Oreos, original ones, and then you're gonna need almond bark, um, vanilla. You can also use chocolate if you want, if you're the type of person that likes double chocolate, but I like chocolate and then also um, vanilla. And then you get an uh, eight ounce of Philadelphia cream cheese. So that's all you're gonna need, and here we go. All right, so you're gonna get all your cookies. Um, usually people just, you know, take out the, the white stuff but you don't have to if you don't want to. So I usually just want to leave it in there. So we're just going to dump all the cookies in there. And then we're going to crush them up. I didn't pour all of them yet, so we're just going to start crushing them. Usually I want them all like really, really like until they get like sandy. But this time I'm just going to make them kind of like crunchy. Not going to be that bad. So this is how they're going to look. See, like that, Ew. <laughs> and then you're just going to pour the rest of them and just keep smashing them until they look like that. So that's how it should end up looking, and now we are going to add the cream cheese into that. And then we're going to uh, kind of like blend it in, and then it gets really, really soft. Alright, now we're going to just mm -hmm. take the Philadelphia cheese, and we're just going to... Pour it in there. Oops, sorry. It's kind of a mess. So I'm just gonna pour it in there and then we're gonna take, you can use this, whatever you guys want, you know, but I'm gonna use that and then just blend it. And like I said, it's the Oreo crushed up. If you want it more crushed up like sand, you can do it that way. If not, you can leave it that. that. I just smushed it up so we got to these like little chunks. You can see like that small. And then I put the eight ounce of cream cheese and then I'm just gonna blend it right now okay here we had our blended up Oreos with cream cheese and it looks like kind of like soil but that's how it's supposed to look and then what we're gonna do is roll them up to little balls you can do them big balls little balls whatever you like and then just put them on like this type of pan and then you're gonna stick them in the freezer for about 30 minutes till they get cold. Okay, so we got like this much, and then we're just gonna roll them. I like to meet, like do like a medium size type of ball, and then we're just gonna place them on the sheet here. So you guys can see right there, and then we're just gonna keep placing all of them there. So here we go. So we're just going to put them in there, mix it up, three minutes, now they're done. And then we're just going to dump them all in here, so that way we could put this wax paper, which you're going to need to put on here, so that way when you dip the balls into the chocolate, which we're going to warm that up, when you dip it in there, you're going to have to put it on wax paper so that it doesn't stick onto here. And because it's cold on this thing, like it's easier to lay out on there. And it's fine that the bottom stays with the chocolate stuff. It's not going to hurt. Chocolate in. Chocolate out. And now it's going to be like that, but you can also get a fork and just... Let's go like that. 
roll it, add it, and then put it here. And you just keep taking more, putting it there, rolling it. If you're trying to make them pretty for like a birthday party or just something that you want to do them really, really nice, you can. But I'm just doing them for fun desserts, so... And I just keep making them. And if you run out of chocolate, white chocolate, you can always make more. And we are done. And so this is the final process of it. So... If you guys liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be doing, and leave in the comments below if you love Oreo truffles, if you ever had them before. Oreo truffles. And if you guys want me to do more um, baking, let me know in the comments below also. And I'll try my best to do other baking um, desserts. So, and then you just put them in the refrigerator. Not in the freezer because then they'll be frozen. But you put them in the refrigerator and just enjoy them.